like that. This then generates pressure, which collects in these bottles on its back, which then allows its legs to move. And this is the first generation that's been able to store energy. The other generations have literally had to have the wind to blow them along. Um, because this one can store its energy, it means if there's no wind, it's still able to run, which is good because it can't swim. A problem living on the beach. It never had less. Um, down here it has a sensor which sucks up air. So if it strays too close to the sea, or if the tide starts to come in, regardless of whether there's wind or not, it's able to use its stored energy to run away to the dunes to safety, where it can happily frolic on it again. Um, here it also has a hammer and a nail, so if it gets too windy, we don't want our strand bees to blow over, so it blows over, it can't stand up again. So it's able to pin itself into the ground. Like this. <laughs> This means that instead of blowing away, it will blow around the pit, and it works. It was left out in a storm last April, and it's still here. So, if we imagine now that the tide's coming in and our strong beast needs to run to safety, you'd like to stand back a little bit. 